Yo, what up? It's another episode <laughs> of what the up, Podcast. Where are you, man and woman? You are now streaming Red American Podcast. Called SND. SND Podcast. I'm D. I'm S. We're joined by the very funny uh, comedian. I'll talk in my normal voice now. <laughs> That's right. Uh, Ariel <laughs> Elman, Brooklyn native. Yes, sir. Ariel uh-huh. Elman. Uh-huh. BK all day. Yeah, Burger you know. King in Brooklyn uh-huh. all day. You We're know all what wearing it is. black. I like that. It's the yeah. Bad Boys oh, episode. Shit, we <laughs> are. Some dude. Elvis shit right We're now. We're covert. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Very much so. You yeah. We're like that. Hasidic Cut Elvis. Elvis. <laughs> right up in here, <laughs> up in here. Yeah, yeah. He goes. won't. He yeah. won't fix any toilets, even the ones he dies on. Man. <laughs> <laughs> no no matter what. Shit. Uh, How do you say thank you in Hebrew? Uh, toda. Toda. Toda vermo. Toda. Toda. Toda vermo. How do you say? How do you say you ain't nothing but a hound dog? How do you say? Uh, ata lo. Elu. I tell a shit. Uh huh. Thanks. I knew I knew a good amount of Hebrew prayers. I went to a lot of bar and bat mitzvahs in my life. Yeah, oh, which yeah. I thought was a normal thing, and then I moved around a bunch. Not not so not so normal in a lot of places in the country. What was your favorite one? What was your um, favorite? there was one where I I grinded on a girl for the first time. What? Okay, okay. Her name was Ali Bazaar. What? And it was it was. It was it was good. It was yeah, <laughs> yes. Is bar for dudes and bar for chicks, or how does that work? Uh, yeah. Yes, well, that's yeah. what it is. There 50 you 50 odds. You nailed Dude, it. Right? I nailed it, bro. Nailed I didn't it. know any Jewish. Place. I knew I knew two people. I think in Minnesota. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. But on the east side of Providence, a lot of lot of Jewish people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Shout out. Shout out. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Shout out to those grown men I played basketball against at the JCC. They taught me some good stuff. Uh huh. Fundamentals. Literally, I played with guys that get like pissed off if you didn't like hit the open man kind of thing. You know? Oh like, yeah. Like even if you like did something cool, they'd be like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> "You gotta commit on the screen. Come on, <laughs> commit on the screen. It's a flex screen. Okay? Come on, dude. Oh, Use yeah. shade and then yeah. Use your pivot foot. Come on. So there's always this thing. So it's helpful. So like, so like, I, I went to like like yeshiva jewish day school so there's like so it's like an inter it's like an interleague yeah. like you play other schools oh, yeah. so yeah so like our school was like it's like you know like sephardi jews like brown mm-hmm. jews essentially right. and uh you, you, like, you, you oh, say you could say real if you want well, mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> the real let's look at the map look at the map look at there where's germany and where's <laughs> lebanon yeah bro let's talk come let's on talk, let's talk logistics yeah. let's talk be real well, all we're saying is the date is there and, yeah. and you can and you can make your own opinion Listen, that's right yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I went full paracon right now <laughs> <laughs> my favorite paracon quote, my favorite paracon quote, he goes uh-huh. i'm not anti-semite i'm anti-termite oh Ooh. i'm like uh, too close that's, <laughs> yeah. that's wild way, way that's wild that's yeah wild. Like, i forget that he's still alive all the time yeah, he's, he's he, still, he's, how did he make it? He, 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 he's still he's still giving the business to Banana Republic, big and tall. You know? <laughs> what do you still, mean? Like all his fits are just like <laughs> oh, they're huge, like, like Steve Harvey suits, oh, yeah. like Steve Harvey suit. I thought you meant he had like a, a bone to pick with Banana Republic. I'm sure he could find something if he wanted yeah. to. If he didn't yeah. have to rely on them for all of his outfits, yeah. right, right. Sure, he could find something. Ooh. So like when we were playing basketball, like so yeah, like Safari Jews, like Oscar. Guys, Jews, just play like his Australian like schools. You guys like, would play against each other. We play against each other. Oh, and no. the thing, <laughs> oh. There's a rivalry. The rivalry, the rivalry, no. the rivalry is so no. big, and it's 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 really more so like it's just our playing style is just like it's it's different. Like we play, <laughs> we because we play like because we came to America like later. Okay, so. Especially in New York, like the '90s Knicks is essentially the only the way. Bi- we'll, the Bible, yeah, yeah, it's a Bible of how to play okay. basketball. Just a lot of elbows and oh, a lot of, yeah. a lot of post just play. high physicality. And we yeah. say, yeah, Ashkenazis, they just hit their free throws. They're very good at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. They hit their free throws. They're perfectionists. They're prim and proper. We fucking go for defense and hurt bad people. boys. Detroit bad, bad boys, boys so type of shit. Very bad boys. So uh-huh. damn. Basketball. Closest thing I have to that is uh, I I uh, played high school basketball in Providence, Rhode Island. And I, I played in like a prep school league. So we'd have to like drive pretty like far away most of the time. And just anytime we went to Connecticut and I don't like Connecticut in general, but we had to just drive for a long time and we'd be kind of like mad because we'd like get home late and then you have to do homework and it's like a whole thing. So the whole time in that bus ride, we were all just like, 
fuck Connecticut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, we're going to fuck them up. Like, I'm sure they were like sure. weirded out at how pissed we were, like, oh, coming yeah. off the bus. They're like, let's have a good game. We're like, shut up. Yeah. <laughs> but they have to go <laughs> to you. Don't even look at me. Do they have to drive to you? Sometimes, yeah. yeah so yeah. they would know the struggle. Yeah, yeah. They would know that they'd be pissed. Right? But I, all their schools were like that. in the middle of nowhere. They probably thought it was like cooler to come to like oh. an actual place. These city slickers. <laughs> These city slickers. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, they're they're so <laughs> urban. <laughs> <laughs> really Italian refs, like all slicked back hair always. Oh, I always like yeah, see them like in the mirror slicking their hair back. Yeah. I'm like, you're refing for children. You're Who's making that sure you're, ref you that's look in good. the NBA that's so slick. Um, you know who I'm talking about? Scott Foster. Probably, dude. Is he he's just gray, really gray, gray hair? Gray hair, slicked back. Yeah, he's like connected to yeah. like, yeah, why like, is, like people well, the, who they're gamble. All, they're all from Philadelphia. <laughs> yeah. Every, Every single ref is from one town in <laughs> Philadelphia slash Delaware. But Scott Foster was like friends with a guy who got like caught like yeah. rigging games oh. for like for gambling for like Vegas odds. Yeah. yeah. And he's like absolutely doing that because <laughs> he has complete anomalies of games. I mean, I like he used to like fuck over the Celtics big time. And then in this like last <laughs> like uh, uh, run, like we were like down against the Bucks, and then he like they call him the extender because like almost always like it goes to seven if he's oh, revving. Oh, so like someone made like a hype video for him to enter Sandman by Metallica. And I would just shamelessly post that. I think like some Miami Heat fans like gave me like death threats at a certain point. They were just so mad that I was like celebrating that it was this guy. <laughs> it's a terrible rap. And it's like a highlight of him just like making egregious calls. Like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Most of them against be, Chris Paul as well. He yeah. hates Chris Paul. <laughs> yeah. Which is, I, I kind of understand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys seen that? Um, what's that show on HBO where the dude, uh, he does like, he just follows people around New York and he just does different shit. Uh, how to? How, maybe. The John Wilson show? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. The referee one. store? The referee yeah, one. Yeah, I live near there. That yeah. was really you do? Yeah. funny. It's like oh in Ridgewood, my. yeah. Dude, yeah. The dinner, that was great. Yeah. And they told him, they're like, they're like, you gotta clean up. You're breaking the ref rules. The raffle rules are wrong. Yeah, yeah, someone yeah. stole the, the the prize that the guy won. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Someone stole it. That was sick. Bro. That's like so much hate in your heart to do that. And it first, and it was kind of deserved. It was because yeah, they, they did rig it. Yeah. They well, and also it was like they they you, at first you felt flag, bad flag for the on the play. <laughs> That's my impression. Because they told Total. all the clean up, you had to clean up your food and your dishes before. Oh, you that leave. was nasty. And no, you're like, oh, you're treating them like children, and then they all leave without doing. You're like, oh, that's why. Yeah, <laughs> like, that was legit. <laughs> it was legit. <laughs> legit reason behind it like yeah my, uh, my coach used to have a good thing that he would do to refs and it would like get them really in their head so like basically like if it was like a charge or a block it's like a pretty tough call in basketball because like when he set his feet was he in the you know zone or whatever yeah and when there was a no call my coach, he was from Jersey. He would always just be, his name was Tom Sinkowitz, aka Coach Sink. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ridiculous human being. Kind of a basketball genius. He like played at Villanova and stuff. But he would just be like, he'd be like, sir, it's got to be something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. They, they would, like, even if he wasn't on the right, like, it, it, it didn't always benefit us, but it would yeah. get him in his head about calling it. Right. Yeah. Right. So he, and then he was kind of telling us, you know, let's go at the rim, you know, see what happens. Yeah, oh. yeah it's got to be something, sir. <laughs> yeah. Make a decision. It's got to be something. He never got like thrown out or anything. Though. So he, yeah. he like he was like nice to the refs right. for the most part. But he but just got up to the line. It's got to be something. <laughs> <laughs> Little comments like that. <laughs> like, oh, God. that's how you do it, man. You freak out. They're just gonna stop listening to you. All man. the sports dev have comments like that. Little things they say when they're too into the game. Oh it's yeah. Just, oh yeah. I remember I was playing soccer. I was probably in like sixth grade, and I was st and soccer we, dads are weird. Well, dude. They, yeah, they're they're intense. way weirder. Than but I got dads. I got weirdly like so I was on the bench or something, or I was not playing at this time, and I'm <laughs> you, just you watching. Are, you weren't a soccer stud. Uh, I was good, but you know. Um, <laughs> I was talented. Cap. I my my dad <laughs> I see those told me thighs. I see those thighs working. Oh, my thighs are strong, dude. I but my problem was I would do too many slide tackles. <laughs> I was on the <laughs> you were that kid. I was on the ground for ninety oh percent of the game. <laughs> so slide <annoying>. tackling, <laughs> just oh, because I'm like that's the sickest way to do anything for sure. It's just <laughs> oh, just out of style. You're just style, style, style boy. Just style, boy. My my, so my you were like were breaking down bone oh, density yeah. in children's ankles. That's and what it was about. This is awesome. Like you have. Milk, milk don't man. you? We're drinking. You got, milk. <laughs> you got milk, don't you? That's a and basketball then, heckle too. When you break someone's ankles, like oh, get him some milk. Get him some milk <laughs> for this guy. Um, 
And then, uh, and the other thing I would do is when the ball would come, because I played defense, when the ball no, would come I was a defense to, guy too, yeah. Yeah, I would just plow it back up the field yeah, as course, hard yeah. as I could, but not like aim it. Yeah, me too, yeah. Just hit it as hard as I could. I know, once I like started watching soccer a little bit, I was like, oh, I was playing so bad. Oh, <laughs> why did I just kick it out just of like bounds? I over clearing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah no yeah. reason for I it. I suck at soccer. Yeah. I did walk on to, was right. to our high school hockey team. And That's a fun one. Yeah, well, it wasn't like ice hockey. It was like- Field hockey. Uh, f- no, more like indoor gym, sweaty Jewish. Oh, gym. that's the most fun yeah, version. It's the most like, fun like, version like mess hall hockey. hockey. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, that shit's so yeah, fun. Like mess hall hockey. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I was gonna say you're quite the ice skater then, but no, 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 no. <laughs> Can I ice skate? I did sell a lot of weed hard. to my friends. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good place. Yeah, yeah. They, that's why they let me. It's like, like an inter- like, like oh, yeah, he, He's a culture setter. Thing. He's <laughs> he keeps a team. You know, I would see that stuff. I was like, I was, I, I was on. Farsi basketball, I guess, like starting my like junior year, but like they were like really good. It was like hard to get. I mean, it was probably just because I was tall, but um, yeah, like uh, but oh, yeah, so. I'd always see my friends at intramurals, like across, like it was like one big court, and I'd be like, just like in like hell, like doing like dribbling drills and like yeah. all this like shit, like suicide or that <laughs> one where you have to um like throw the ball off the backboard and you can, if you let it drop then you have to start over so you have right. to just sprint from one side to the other that's that's a tough one on your yeah. shoulders and stuff and i just like look at my friends just like having like so much fun just playing like volleyball or kickball <laughs> or just like fuck <laughs> <laughs> oh it's They're having a blast in high yeah. school and practice has got to be like after school till like 6 or 7 p.m i'm like this is not even yeah. What is this anymore? This is like a job or something. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, our shit was a job. We had this to like wear a fucking job. We had to wear like, job suit, we had to wear like suits, game day yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, We'd yeah. have to run if we didn't do something right. This is not even. You come what home, the hell are we you getting? You come home and dinner's not ready. And yeah, you dinner's lose not it. ready. Yeah. You lose it. <laughs> what the True, fuck? I was just like living with my mom. I'm like, damn it, woman. Yeah. I asked for one thing. <laughs> this is cold. <laughs> She's like, it's 10 p.m. You were Grilled in chicken again. You were yeah. in Connecticut. Oh, yeah. <laughs> David, I can't make meatloaf every night. <laughs> <laughs> I got to do math homework. <laughs> Oh, where of your homes like like my house like my stepdad was very very intense about like the kitchen is closed after 10 p.m. Oh, no, no, not at all. all. Your, kitchen, your kitchen was 24/7. Wow, he had like a restaurant manager mentality. More you mean, so nobody the, could eat or he wouldn't cook. No, nobody could eat. Like could oh, go really? in. Really? Yeah, no, that's like, psychotic. Yeah, like oh, you can on. like you can't use the kitchen. <laughs> oh, too loud. Did yeah, he like cabinets. Oh, the cabinets were too <laughs> the loud. Cabinet, or no, just I was about to say, yeah, was like, did he used to be like a line cook or something? No, or, yeah, it's yeah. more so like it's more so. I don't know. It was just like a noise, thing, like you know. These are rules. Like yeah. You do not. We use have the order. Kitchen. We have order. You eat when it's time to eat. Right. And after that, fend for yourself. Uh huh. I'm like, right. that's a really crazy. And rule. I'm gonna <laughs> adopt <laughs> that rule. And I'm gonna adopt that rule. <laughs> you Dude, don't have a that rule, yeah. yeah. Uh, you gotta have something. You gotta set the <laughs> yeah. line. Somewhere. He was like doing the intermittent fasting. Right. Yeah. For the <laughs> before he was yeah. adopting it. He that's was really the before. pioneer of that. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kitchen is closed until one p.m. That's a really funny. <laughs> one story. to nine p.m. The kitchen is open. No, <laughs> like it's not a restaurant, dude. I'm gonna yeah. eat some rice krispies. Yeah, yeah. Don't you suck my dick. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my kitchen hours are gonna be like one of those like Italian restaurants where it's like three to five p.m. closed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Smoke break. You have siesta. <laughs> yeah. But it's very anti-Italian to like not whip up something mm. like whenever like your right. kids or whatever oh, well, i'll make you a little something oh yeah. like i'm oh. not gonna go all right what do you want you know yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah all right yeah i got i got some stuff what do i got oh, uh, yeah, yeah um should we just jump into some prank calls? let's jump That's into fucking, it dude yeah. do you want to go first or um i was actually thinking maybe maybe our guest goes first okay. all, right. all right cool i'm I'm, try, I'm trying to throw the gauntlet to you sure that's that works all right so i got the number of the I, guy because i feel like you're ready to go oh yeah get, get your headphones on, right, boy. We've, we've been chatting about a few ideas playboy all right so so essentially like my my day job i call a lot of like sports teams and <laughs> buy tickets from them <laughs> yeah 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 and yeah so like and and like and like sell them and like resell them but like sometimes you deal with like some fucking weirdos and so <laughs> we have <laughs> so we're gonna call we're gonna call the rancho cucamonga quakes the my, quakes. The quakes. The quakes. The Lost quakes. quakes. <laughs> Lost, Lost quakes, quakes on, 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 on Latino night. Lost quakes. Uh, minor league baseball team. Oh, okay. Oh, I like that. Yeah. 
Minor League Baseball. I never even thought of that. That's a good one. Calling yeah. those guys. I loved when Bernie Sanders was obsessed with like preserving minor league baseball out of nowhere. It was like one of the really random uh, yeah. things he was passionate about. <laughs> yeah, what? He's like, it supports local economies. It's great <laughs> games. Oh, <laughs> no. They do pillow fights in the stands. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> I have a very nice. That was like his old thing. Even when he was happy, he was like, I, I, I love going to the games. Yeah. <laughs> I have fun at the games. I go to the games. Yeah, I go to the games and I have fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, how can you take away my date night? Like, that is my date night. Come yeah, on. This is with scheduled shit. Yeah, yeah. So, this is a number. Uh, oh, uh, you want to put it into days on one? Just, oh, hit, just sure. hit a star six, seven, and then. Sure, bro. Yeah. Let me get it up, yeah. My girlfriend got me a, a Grimes vinyl for Valentine's Day, which unfortunately I love. Banger. That's awesome. That's it. <laughs> it's the first one. It's uh, Art Angels. <laughs> Hello? Thank you for calling the Rancho Cucamonga Quick. This is Denise. How can I help you? Hi, Denise. Uh, my name is Kevin, and I run a camp uh, right outside of right outside of. of Rancho uh, Cucamonga, and I wanted to know um, if do you guys have like camp, like can I set up like a group and hospitality type of situation for some kids to come out to a game? We do have something set up for that. Um, uh, what organization are you calling with? Uh, it's a it's a camp for um, for uh, conjoined twins. Uh, they're twins that are conjoined, kind of like all around the country. And uh, they come to this camp, you know, we just kind of like make them feel like, you know, a little bit more than less. And we really give them a good time. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. It's a oh, lot cool. of fun. Awesome. Good for you guys. That's super cool. Um, So you're all over the country. Yeah. There's a lot of different ones. Uh, this one's kind of like more for the West Coast. Um, yeah. So happy to make like some type of reservation if that's possible. Okay. Hang, hang on a second, Kevin. Okay. Quick ticket office. This is Kyle. How can I help you? Hi, Kyle. Uh, my name is Kevin, and uh, I run a. I, I direct. I'm a director for a camp. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, and I want to know: Are you guys taking reservations for, for you know, for like a game that I could bring the kids? Yeah. Into? Okay. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. like a like a group outing type of thing. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Sure, sure. Let me see, and uh, let me just see if you're in our system already, Kevin. What was your last name? Kevin uh, Berkowitz. Do you mind spelling that for me just so I don't butcher it on my end? Oh, yeah, no, no problem. Um, B as in butcher on your end. Okay. Uh, uh, e, R, K, okay. O, okay. W, I, okay. T, Z. Oh, wait. Okay. Yeah, like, oh, it's Burke. Oh, it's. Yeah, perfect. Got it there for you. All right, and then did you have a, an idea which which game you're looking to come out to, Kevin? Yeah, I was wondering if you. So I look at like your promotions site, and mm -hmm. um, okay, so I was looking like I think there's a game where the kids could go run around the bases post game. Yeah, yeah. So we do the uh, most Sunday, most of our Sunday games. I think most, if not all, okay. uh, we have post games on the bases. Um, okay, that's cool. See, let me say. Were you just kind of looking generally, or did you have a, a specific date in mind that you were looking at? Uh, we were looking like towards the summer, maybe like around June. Okay. Um, I don't know if uh, the previous person I spoke with told you, but this is a camp for uh, for conjoined twins. Um, okay. Yeah, they kind of come from like all around the country, and um, mm -hmm. yeah, so kind of want to know like in terms of like the tickets, right? Um, we're gonna have like. A hundred kids. Mm -hmm. How much would that normally cost? Yeah, so it, it kind of depends on what section you want to sit in a, around the stadium. But uh, for most areas that we do have, we do have a, a special ticket rate for all groups such as yours like that. 
Um, so are you are you familiar with their stadium at all, Kevin? Have you ever been out before, or are you just is this all kind of new to you? Uh, it's all kind of new to me, and I just wanted to make sure. So when when in terms like the ticket, um, so is each conjoined twin charge for two tickets or one ticket? That is a you know what that is a good question. Uh, well, I'm I'm assuming it'd be based off of. I don't want to sound insensitive. I think it's based off of of, of how many seats they have, um, or how many seats they'll need. Do Do you know if they'll need one seat or if they'll need two seats? Or I, I just, like I said, don't I don't want to be insensitive or anything. No, I I totally understand. Uh, so typically, like typically, they could take up uh, one seat, but maybe uh -huh. if you do, you guys have like a bleacher area, so it could kind of like not worry so much about that um yeah it's kind of like <laughs> it's kind of like uh sorry it's kind of like two heads but like one buttocks type situation yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, we don't necessarily have we used to have kind of like bleacher seating i, I want to say in that case we could probably just do just do one ticket um just because it's, it's we pretty much do it on a like a per seat basis in in this case um, so if it's if they're only sitting if they only need one seat, I, I I don't see why there's a reason we need to charge them for two tickets if that makes sense. But yeah, yeah. Um, what I'll do for you, what yeah, I'll do for you, Kevin, is just kind of double check with my team to make sure that's all right. But for for now, we'll just operate as if it's um, you know one one seat for for the two the two kids. Right. Okay. Um. Yeah. You know, stub like one stub for each pair. That's good. Mm -hmm. Um. Do you guys have like like I think, um, I think like some of the kids would really enjoy like if you could do like some type of batting practice or something like that, or take pictures with the team. I mean, it's I, I will be honest, they're not particularly that easy on the eyes, but I think like with they would really appreciate if they could have like you know that moment with the team. Yeah. Yeah, so we do have some kind of like pregame stuff that we we do with groups that come out. Um, we do have some like on-field games that we can do, or even maybe like a, a first pitch or something like that. Yeah. Um, the kind of issue with dealing with the player, having, with interacting with the players themselves, is that um, since they are they're technically Dodgers employees, and you know they're Dodgers players. Right. Uh, we're partnered with them. We we kind of have restrictions on what we can do with them without having to get permission from the Dodgers. If that makes sense. Okay. So, yeah. So. Um, but we yeah, do have some stuff. I, I totally understand. Like, yeah, there's so much uh, bureaucracy um so yeah no i understand like sometimes sometimes we, like, we do it. yeah sometimes like that i feel like the mlb doesn't appreciate how how uh how important it is to do like outreach um but yeah um so yeah we oh sorry go ahead so like could so like could the twins kind of like be brought out on the field by like the pa system like kind of like batter like upcoming number two the the like like these like the berkowitz twins that type of thing you know mm -hmm. uh i'm trying to think we do we have done kind of like special like pre-game stuff like that before it would maybe because it's a sunday game um we could that could be possible I would say usually the, when we do that kind of stuff it's usually not like, i mean less i'd say less less crowded days which is our fridays and saturdays just because there's so much going on that we when we have our, our pregame stuff that we do we kind of have like set timing on everything that we strict timing that we have to follow so right, right, it definitely right. is i won't say it's an immediate no but i um i, I don't want to give you a yes right now because i have to check with the promo team just to, of course to see how we'd execute I mean, all look, that but that's it, it's like some of them have two heads but they have but they have like one heart they're like one being mm. it's um mm -hmm. And um, also, if they could take like, um, like maybe with like a mascot or something like that, um, I think mascots are really cool, and they, they would love that as well. Um, if one of them could even be a mascot, um, that'd be really fun. Um, if you can get like make like individually two heads for the mascot. That'd be really cool. Um, 
Do you think that's possible? Yeah, we but with with the mascot, we we do kind of have set mascots, but definitely the mascot definitely kind of um, wanders around, and we we can we do ask him, and he does go up to groups. So we can get a group photo, something like that, maybe. In terms of making them a mascot, it's kind of the same thing. I, I more so just handle the kind of the ticket side. So everything you're telling me, I'll just take it, write it down, and kind of talk to the promo team to see how exactly that could be executed. But um, I know w- with the mascot itself, like we said, we could definitely do like a group photo of the sorts, or uh, try to you know try to work something out with that. I, I just don't want to overpromise you anything right now, Kevin. If that makes sense. I understand. Um, yeah, I was just thinking maybe like. Well, there are like there are some kids who are not, not like particularly able to um, uh, walk without assistance. I'm wondering if like you have staff that's like ready to handle that, where they could kind of like you know roll them out and let them be like, here's it, here 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 are these kids, you know, mm-hmm. like announce them. Um, but yeah, I, I, I totally understand like these are a lot of like nitty gritty details. Um and some of them are redheaded. I don't know if that's a problem, but I really doubt it. Um No. No, no that's not a problem. Okay, cool. Um so in terms of like what comes with the tickets, right? Does it come with like concessions of sorts? So the, the the kind of the base ticket price doesn't necessarily come with concessions, but we do have opportunities to kind of include that with with the ticket, it is obviously it's going to be a kind of an additional charge, but we have like meal vouchers that we can do, or even um, we even do like pregame picnics for groups that want to come out. Right. So we can even do like a like a, a pregame picnic to include that, like a ticket ticket and a picnic ticket essentially. You can kind of build it in all as as one price, and those picnics are, are unlimited food for the. It's an hour and fifteen minutes. Uh, before the game starts so yeah got, got some time to all hang out eat some food together get as much food as you need and and then go on to your seats and, and enjoy the game for sure and can we get like so similar to how it's like we like we already contractually agreed that each ticket will be one ticket for uh the conjoined twins um i'm wondering considering that are we contractually agreeing that there'd be two hot dogs for one bun. Uh, well, so there, with those picnics, they are, um, they are, um, I mean, we can, I think we can accommodate that, but they, it is on un, unlimited food for the, for the picnic. So there is, you know, it, it's not like the more you eat, the more you get charged type of thing. It's just kind of, so it's not like it's like a buffet enough, style yeah, situation. Yeah, there'll, there'll be enough food for for everyone to go around. So it's not like you have a you're paying this money so you get this finite amount of food. If that makes sense, we'll have kind of a, enough uh, enough food there to go around for everyone. Right, and would would you do you, would you would they be able to get like some type of like um, prize at the end of it, like like maybe a baseball mitt and two baseballs again permit uh we do we do kind of do like <laughs> donation baskets type of things for for groups um that would that's kind of run through my office manager so i can kind of uh, there's just i know i'm saying a lot of the, there, there's kind of a look with what you're trying to do there's just kind of a lot of coordination that needs to go on so i definitely just kind of have to have conversations with them but um we don't necessarily mm-hmm. just kind of I, I want to put, like have prizes just kind of waiting for everyone or like raffles, but we do have like kind of raffle baskets type of thing. So um, that's like you said, I definitely can, can talk with my team about that. Okay. And also just one more thing on the food. Um, mm-hmm. It comes with a beverage, I presume. It, can you make sure yeah, that, yeah. can we get like specialty straws where it's like two, two, like uh, two spouts for straw. Yeah, it, it's it, yeah. No, I see what you're saying. It's it's the same. I, I hate to kind of. It sounds very PR of me, but um, I, I'm sure we can make accommodations for that. I just don't. I don't run the food and beverage department, so I just have to get in contact with them to make sure that's something we can do. But all right, worst um, case scenario, we, we can bring have, tea. We yeah, can bring, we can bring like our said, people, and they can handle it for us. No problem. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, like um, I said, it's just it's just going to be some coordination on my end, but we we definitely there's there are opportunities for that. 
and they can like just kind of like feel comfortable just roaming around, roaming around the park right yeah i mean yeah obviously you'll have your seat for your game if, if they want to go and go and explore the, the ballpark and just uh you know check it out they're more than welcome to do that and they can just like roll around the park as they feel yeah, I mean, yeah, obviously not like the playing field or anything, but um, if you just, like I said, if they want to go check out, we got uh, a lot of fun areas. We have like a fun zone area at the stadium, a bunch of different kind of concessions and things going on. We have the team store uh, that they can go and visit. So, yeah, there's no, we're not going to tell you, you have to be in your seat for the whole game. You're not allowed to move around type of thing. Okay. Uh, yeah. Because some of them like the roll, they don't really fall. Um, that's cool. Um, okay. In terms of parking, do you guys do like RV style parking? We do, yeah, we do uh, do parking like that. If if you guys have some like buses or RVs like that, um, I don't believe we charge for for that. In that case, I'll have to check <laughs> again. Apologies, I'll have to double check with my parking manager. But I know we've um, we've had groups before that have brought like big buses or RVs or things right, of that right. nature. And back, mm-hmm. sorry, I just like wrote down. Um, you mentioned the fun zone. So anything goes in the fun zone, right? Yeah, that well, that area is just like a little, we just have some games set up for, for kids to, you know, just throw, like there's like a, a ball toss where they can try to throw a ball as hard as they can, or there's like a connect four or a little slide. or right. There's just some things over there just to, you know, make, keep the kids entertained because, you know, some of the kids just come to the game and they they don't care what's going on. They just want to have some fun. So it's just a little nice little area for them to yeah yeah to do for that. sure. They could just they could just really freestyle and just do their thing. Um, yeah, about, exactly. What about for the adults in the fun zone? Like, cause they'll be with the counselors. So I yeah, if the counselors want to be over there just to kind of keep an eye on them, they're more than welcome to. Uh, we have, you know, to, we, keep, we have, we have to keep we have to keep it's like we have to keep four eyes per twin so yeah you're gonna have a lot of it's it's gonna be a lot of heads on work um okay cool um yeah i feel like the counters are real love to just get it on in the fun zone and <laughs> and just like really let loose for once um all right cool and Oh, we got it. Who's calling? If you know, when you let a bunch of uh, yeah. high-energy kids run around like that, you got to have some order. But um, like I said, it's just go out there, have some fun, you keep some eyes on them, and make sure, you know, do what you got to do and, and enjoy the game and you go enjoy the whole experience. I mean, it's like they're like nuclear energy. Like they are just double time. <laughs> and that sounds like a great place for them to get some of their energy out then definitely. and the counselors right so most of them so most of them are above the age of 21 um mm-hmm. well so is there like some type of open bar situation that we could set up for that oh uh, well we do have some beer walls that are that are near the um, they're they're not necessarily right next to the fun zone, but there are some beer walls on the way over there on um, there's beer walls on both sides of the stadium, actually. So they'll actually, depending on where you're sitting, you'll, you'll probably have to walk past the, the beer wall to get to the fun zone. So you got to breach the beer wall to enter the fun zone. <laughs> oh, I, I wish we could, but I, I'm not sure if there's any, any restrictions on that or anything, but um so they and have we to definitely climb. We also have, do they have, there's no climbing involved. Like you, so there's the beer wall, there's the fun zone. And I mean, look, cause like realistically we expect by that time in the summer, uh, the counselors are going to be, they're going to be so drained. It's, it's a lot of work as you can imagine. Like you already see how much is going to go into this. And mm-hmm. um, we just want to make sure that, that they could be, um, that, that they could, uh, be, you know, be, be, be comfortable, let loose, really just kind of like kiss and tell, you know, kiss, just, just bumping grind a little bit. <laughs> I can't, I can't. 
Um, yeah, kind of like that. All right, so the so in terms of price for the tickets, right? So let's say we're in the um, upper deck, right? Mm -hmm. Just kind of like out of sight for the rest of the people. Uh, how much is a ticket? So in the upper deck, what we call we call that the club box at the stadium. It's with the the group rate. It's eleven dollars a ticket. Okay. All right. 11 bucks. We can't be yeah. work something out. So, well, that's actually our, our already a discounted rate on the, the game. So we actually, um, for reference, let's say uh, like a Sunday game, like you said, you one of those where you want maybe want to run, run around the base. Is this like, is this the Dodgers decision or your decision to make it $11 right now? And that 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 is a quake's choice, just because it okay. is like I said, it is a discounted rate um, on our on our normal tickets. I think like a Sunday ticket in that same section is usually like sixteen, seventeen bucks. So it, it is a, a good chunk off of that. Okay, so it's um, eleven dollars. So split the difference, five fifty per ticket per kid. So you're saying like fifty tickets in total? No, I'm saying like if we break it down, I'm saying for for our books. For our books, when we when we do the taxes, it's gonna be it's eleven dollars per conjoined twin. Therefore, five fifty per kid. Uh, uh, that should work. Like I said, yeah, I'm yeah. pretty sure just because it's taking up one seat, I just need to kind of confirm that with my team. But that should be the should be the case. Come on, man! You're quaking my heart right now, man. Like, make sure that that is the case. I I I really do appreciate. You. Um, how yeah, thorough. no, like I said, I, I, I just personally, Kevin, haven't had a, you know, a group like this. So I, when I say all this stuff, I just don't want to over promise you anything. And like I said, I'm pretty sure that's how it's going to work, but okay. uh, I was just kind of referred to my team when it's a, a new, a new situation or a new, a new, you know, scenario like this. Right. Right. Okay, cool. Um, all right. So for the parking, we could pull up with a big old RV. That's exciting. Uh, um okay cool and and um so in terms of like the dates so i'm uh so which date do you think is i most ideal yeah so if you, you wanted to come out one of those sundays to to run the bases it, um you were looking at the the summer right is that correct uh what or what you were looking to come out during the summer yeah yeah, yeah. or what what like Okay, so maybe like a June or July game. Like Juneteenth. Juneteenth. Okay, uh, so we that we do have a Sunday after Juneteenth. So uh, oh, June okay, 25th, so like Juneteenth observed a Greek Orthodox Juneteenth situation. All right, cool. Um, and um, last thing I would say is like uh, for for the, uh, if do you guys do like a like a scoreboard message for the kids? Yeah, yeah. For all our groups that come out, we put we put like a a little message up on the scoreboard. So whenever we're kind of ready to, to move forward with this, we can kind of get your little shout out that you want to do up there. For we'll sure, like, it's like a group name or or something like that. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, because I think a, a nice message would be like all caps, like "Hello, conjoined brothers and sisters. You are loved and you are normal." Yeah. No. Totally. Okay, cool. And uh and how about to just have like full autonomy over the fun zone? Uh you, that is a good question. I, I've never <laughs> I, I've never seen that before. Um never had that question asked just because um we usually open it up to, to all kids that come out. But um <laughs> I, I keep saying it. I keep hating it and put it, but I got to check with the team. Yeah, I don't we don't want other kids right. in there. Like no one else. Like it's got to be closed, and no cam, no cameras either. Like absolutely. Like I'm talking like Berlin nightclub situation. Like no pictures, nothing at all. Uh, yeah, that'd be cool. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll get back to you on that if that's something we can do. Yeah, maybe. Do you have like 
do you have like a security detail like on site that we could kind of like hire we'll we'll bring our own team we'll bring our own team don't worry about it yeah totally okay cool um oh oh also uh we prefer if there are no bobbleheads because bobbleheads are kind of triggering for these kids. If you could, or if you could, because or you could customize it and make double bobbleheads. That'd be that'd be pretty cool. Um, yeah, we. Um, oh, and we don't have any. Do have oh. Right, you don't have any. Okay, we we don't have a we don't have a bobblehead schedule for our Sunday game, so there, okay. there won't be any like bobbleheads given out that day or anything like that all right yeah we'll make our own don't worry about it um have you considered like i mean there are many camps like this across the country a lot of them kind of like near like you know other minor league parks and it would be nice if there was like if there's in the case of like a double header you could kind of make that conjoined twin night for Maybe yeah, the Dodgers I mean, it, can. <laughs> maybe the Dodgers could, you know, get that message out. I mean, I know Bernie. Yeah, no, I. I, I know Bernie Sanders we... is very much pro. Conjoined twin night. Of, I've, I've sent several emails to him, and we're we're, we're pretty close. Um, he's a. He's a good guy. Yeah, no, I, no. I like I said, uh, I mean, we don't get many double headers here just because that only happens when we get a rain out, which is not super often. But um, that's true. You know, that is a, an interesting. But climate change can, is crazy, uh, bro. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. How about what I'll do for you, Kevin? Is I'll kind of email you some of those. Da- I'll get an email from you, uh, send yeah. you over some of those dates we're looking at, and we can go from there. And I can start talking my with my team about. Um, some of the logistics we've been discussing. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Send me an email. Yeah. It's uh Kevin Barkowitz okay. Twin Master LLC at Gmail dot com. Twin Master LLC at Gmail dot com. Yes. Got that right? That's Perfect. Correct. All right, so I'll go ahead. I'll go ahead and send you some of those dates and uh, we'll see what we can get going here. Thank you. I really appreciate it. All right. I really appreciate it. All right. Thanks for the call. Thank you, Kyle. All right. Take care. (laughs) (laughs) Bye-bye. Good joy, twin. Why, bro? Why? Why? He just kept. Oh, yeah. That sounds good. I wanted you so bad to be like, like, and you you have staff members that could roll out the twins that can't walk. Oh my you could say, "Here come the twins," and then they'd roll Dude. them. <laughs> Dude, uh, oh my god! Full was... autonomy, full autonomy full of autonomy the fun, the fun zone. zone. Yeah, oh my god! <laughs> no, yeah. no cameras. And repeating twin master, <laughs> twin, <laughs> twin, oh and he calls himself the twin <laughs> master. <laughs> oh, he loves. Yeah. Maybe the I, I mean, that was great though. I have a, oh I my god, bro! I don't need the phone. Dude, that guy, that guy is doing it today. He's gonna ask his boss a lot of weird questions <laughs> about now. So one butt, one for butt. Help with a super fun vacation. Oh, Start by choosing from a swap. No, you I did have, good. No, no, if you are calling no. an employee and you know their oh, five-digit extension, please dial it now or hold from. Hey, Kevin. Yeah. Hey, Kevin. For website assistance, press 1. If you're a travel agent, press 2. Back from your cruise and need to speak to someone about your recent onboard experience, press 3 for our guest care department. Already booked on a carnival cruise, press 4. To book your cruise or check rates and availability, press (laughs) 3. Want to chat with your personal vacation planner, press 1 and then enter their five-digit extension. To book your cruise or check rates and availability, to ensure high quality service, no, your conversation no, no. may be recorded. <laughs> Thank you for calling Carnival. This is Vanessa. Hi there. Uh, I should have a few questions about some of your uh, cruises uh, destinations. Sure. How can I help? 
Sure. Uh, I was like, uh, I just, I'm just going to go rapid fire through a, a couple of locations. And I was hoping you, you can just say yes or no, whether you have any ships that go this way. So I'm just going to start <laughs> firing them off. Uh, okay. Uh, first okay. one, uh, New Guinea. Uh, New Guinea. I believe we go to New Guinea. So you're going to ask me about specific destinations. That's correct. If they're on the route. Okay. So, um, so I'm going to have to pull up a couple itineraries in front of me. Cause I don't know, we have quite a oh, close to a hundred. So I don't know exactly okay. every single that's one. That's great. That's what, that's why I'm if calling you, you guys. Cause you're the best. <laughs> if you just bear with me a moment, I'll take a quick look. If, yeah, New, of course. if New Guinea is part of the itinerary, I believe if I'm not mistaken, we do. So okay. I'll tell you the port. Just give me one sec. Okay. So, I mean, if, if it seems like a yes, I can just keep going down the list. I'm, 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 I'm pretty sad. I, I, I can, I can I look up the that. details for sure. Okay, then then yes, I've seen it on one of our ports. I just don't know exactly what ship. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, I'll figure that out. I was just kind of curious about a few places I've always been trying to go. Uh what about the the Solomon okay. the Solomon Islands? No. Okay. Uh how about uh uh Fiji? Fiji, yes. Uh the Amazon Basin? No. Uh the Congo. No. And finally the Chatham Islands outside of New Zealand. Mm, we um yes i believe so because we do go to some parts in the trans-pacific that okay. do visit new zealand and new zealand itself so yes okay great time. so new guinea and chatham islands that's perfect because you know i wanted to call you guys you guys are cannibal crews and i want to go go on the cruise that you can see the most people eating each other so i've heard that i've yeah. done some research those two people can uh, that the, they have some native people who tend to eat each other in cannibalistic rituals. And I'd like to see it from the safety of one of your cruise ships. That's strange. Okay. Well, I mean, you're, 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 I'm strange. You're the ones that, that, that sail by these places. I mean, New Guinea has a rich history of cannibalism. This is, this is cannibal. This is cannibal cruise, isn't it? It's called carnival cruise. It, what? It's carnival? It's not cannibal cruise. It's not, it's you don't sail a bunch of islands and watch people eating each other? That's not the whole appeal? No, sir. If this is the purpose for the call, I'm going to disconnect the call, okay? No, hang on. I got one, I got one, I just one quick one more question about the, the New Guinea one. Um, hello? How satisfied are you with uh, I want to run the hook a little bit longer. I got one that goes very similar to that. <laughs> <laughs> I got a very similar. Do you, th do you think I said the concept too fast? No, I. I, I could have had her. I, I should have asked a few more questions about New Guinea. She she <laughs> caught up with it. I think the second time because the first time she goes yeah because yeah. she wasn't really processing. I love I love I love the hard no to Solomon Islands. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Solomon Islands. Someone definitely died there. <laughs> oh god. A lot of people. I looked That's up really I looked up all those places pretty extensively. There have been a lot of cannibalism in all those places. <laughs> That's so fucking funny. <clears throat> <laughs> Fiji? <laughs> cannibal cruise. <laughs> this ain't cannibal cruise. I love that. I, I want to see some freaks. I love watching it from the sea to the ocean. <laughs> Thank you for calling BetterHelp. Your call is very important to us. Oh. One moment, please. Your call will be answered by the next available representative. Oh, God. Thank you for calling Bladder Help. Savvy speaking. How can I help you? Hey, uh, th yeah, uh, this is Bladder Help, right? This is Better Help. Yes. How can I help you? All right. Very good. I heard about y'all on a podcast, and I'm I'm just having a couple of problems, mainly leakage. <laughs> Hello. Y'all. Sorry. So you're how? Y'all. Y'all therapists help with Go that. Go ahead. With leakage. Um, yeah, mental. What do you it's, mean it's by mo leakage? It, I, well, it could be it could be mental or physical, but I just thought I would call bladder help and and see what would happen. Okay, so if you like, what I can do is I can have somebody uh, 
uh, follow up with you. Um, All right. Well, it's a little bit dire. I'm standing on top of a bucket. Ah, uh, okay. Well, I mean, it may take a a, a a while before somebody can get back to you. Okay. Uh, I got to go right now. Number three. Tres. Which term? I'm sorry? Tre- oh, I was sorry. I was doing Spanish. Tr- tres. Hello? Yeah, I'm still here. Oh, okay. So can you connect me with somebody who can, who's sort of an expert on this? Uh, so the thing is, because you're saying this is a diarrhea call, you'd have to call well, it's me not, 1-800-273-TALK. It's not, talk. No, it's not diarrhea. It's urine. I wouldn't say it's dire at all, but it is serious. So unfortunately, I'm not able to connect with you at the moment with an agent. I, I feel like can we're only connecting. refer you to the one eight. So I'm going to let you go. Please try to call back later time. Okay. All right. I'm going to go to the bathroom and I'll try to connect with you after that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I pretty much have to have to go right now. <laughs> <laughs> I pretty much have to leave. I this pretty point. much have to go. Good I mean, old bladder help. Good should we just call something real quick and then just like all three of us like just make some silly noise or something? What? Well, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Let's we call can... like a subway and like let's all make a noise like this. <laughs> <laughs> that's really that's, that's really good. Let's pretend to be like aliens or something. <laughs> we're con- we could say we're conjoined twins. Oh, yeah. We're looking for a place to stay. We're, yeah, yeah. Call a hotel. We're hungry. We're conjoined. <laughs> we're conjoined twins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. The rare triad. <laughs> the Hydra. <laughs> <laughs> we're a Hydra. <laughs> oh. Okay, so we're conjoined twins and we need a place to stay. Oh, and then the follow up is we're a Hydra. <laughs> that we all have to say it at once. What does Hydra mean? Uh, it's a six headed sword. It's like from Hercules. <laughs> or half a Hydra. We're half a, we're a half Hydra. <laughs> <laughs> I just guess you could, just a high, I guess you could say. Uh huh. Where's the where's the damn hotel? Where's the, where's the it could be any hotel. I'll I'll even I'll hit it raw. Okay, I'm hitting it raw as yeah. we speak. They just try like a holiday inn or something. They they pick up. What is this? This is Mick Mick uh McMenamin's hotel. Thank you for calling <laughs> McMenamin's hotel yeah, or we, we need we need a change. We are helping other guests at the moment oh. and experiencing it. Call it yeah, call it a holiday inn. But ch- chains have a lot of business going on. Let me see here. Yeah, but like their whole thing is like convenience, you know. All right, let's let's see if they got it. Holiday Inn. We at the hotel, motel, conjoined holiday in. You know, it's kind of like a like a Pizza Hut and Taco Bell. It's kind of conjoined. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, partners may record the call and retain this call for quality and research purposes. I hope so. Oh my god. <laughs> Hi, we're conjoined. Thank you for calling Reservation Stays. To make a new booking, please press one. For questions, of- <laughs> a sales concierge will be with you shortly. Note that this call is being recorded for quality yeah. and training purposes. Chernobyl. <laughs> Chernobyl's popping up. Oh. <laughs> DJ Chernobyl. What the fuck? Is this the noise it makes in the hotel? <laughs> Well, fucking answer it, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> this is bad. This is bad for my mental health. Hi. 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 Hi.
place place to, to stay. stay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no so I may know the uh, name of the hotel. Laughing. <laughs> We're, We're conjoined. Not freaks. We okay, so uh, may I ask, are you trying to make a reservation or do you have an existing one? Yes. yes. <laughs> one of us has an existing, the, the, the other, other two, will do, and the one like do to not make. Make, to make one. Hey, I'm going to meet them later. Okay, so uh, may I know the name of the hotel that you're trying to book a reservation? The, the best, best one. Sorry, I didn't. Um, um, you know, I didn't get that one. Could you please repeat it back for me? The, the best, best one. one. The best one. Yes. yes. Uh, and may I know uh, the city and the state of this hotel? New England, USA, baby. Okay, so uh, for this one, um, you know, um, I didn't get that one either. So. Uh, Hydra. Hey. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's get uh, let's get serious here. Okay. Yes. yes. Okay, so uh, the hotel that you want to uh, book. Uh, you said that the name is the uh, the bad one, right? And uh, the city and the state I need it now are the location of this hotel so that I can um, provide you a uh, reservation. Bed and breakfast. Okay, bed now. and <laughs> Now. 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 now, now, Actually, I'm not seeing any hotels here that uh, fits your uh, description. Uh, is it because we're conjoined? That's uh, yes. ableist. Okay, so actually, um, I know that you're having a good time right now. So, uh, me no, and no, Mary no, are you trying to make a reservation? We... Yes, uh, basically the one, um, the other one is actually not in tune with you guys. What? <laughs> yes. <laughs> the other one is totally laughing in the background. I can hear it here. Very he clearly. He is the, the youngest. We're conjoined. Okay, so yep, I know already know that you are conjoined, uh, as you said earlier. So uh, may I ask about the uh, the hotel's name again? He because um, it's not has uh, to learn to obey. As I said, uh, if you're not gonna get uh, serious um, in any minute now, I'm gonna have to uh, you know. Put this um, phone call. Um, 
Halt. Because I'm, because I'm going to have to assist um, um, more customers or um, other customers for this one. Who goes there? What is your name? My name is uh, Sed. Seb. 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 Okay. We will haunt your dreams. Seb. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, for the last time, I'm just going to ask again. This is for the last time. So, um, uh, are you trying to make the a reservation? The last time. Okay, so uh, may I put this phone call on hold for about a minute or two? No. no. I'll be uh, doing it anyway. <laughs> Please wait. Stop. Stop. Nah, I'm just, uh, we just kidding. are I didn't conjoined. <laughs> hang up? Just mute it. All right, folks, that's been the SD podcast. <laughs> that's a, that's a you can check me out on Instagram, Twitter, at Local Dingus. I'm almost late for something very important. Ariel, anything right. you'd like to plug? I know you have a show tonight, right? Got a show tonight at Pine Box Rock Shop. Let's Next go. Week. Hey, are you still there? <laughs> yes. Bed and breakfast. <laughs> No. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> you said that you are uh, conjoined twins, right? That's right. And now, uh, uh, where the, where are you located right now? In, In our, our house. <laughs> okay, so. Um, uh, your house is, uh, is, it is a dungeon. Uh, it's a dungeon. Twin bed together. <laughs> okay, okay. So uh, it's a dungeon, Put and you have uh, two twin beds. Beds together, conjoined bed. So the beds are, uh, you know, like um, conjoined together. And the cot. And how do you, um, how do you, uh, how do you get, um? To the bathroom if you are conjoined twin. We do it on top of each other. <laughs> do you uh, do you do it um, at the same time off? Every time the, the same time. time. Plop, 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 plop. Okay. So, um, yeah. May, uh, do you have any more questions? Only one. What's your social security number? Okay, so I don't have one. You don't have one? Question mark. 
We have won. It is 72 digits long. It's oh, mad God. confusing. <laughs> okay, we, we have, have to go, go but, but this isn't, isn't over. <laughs> Sam. Sam. Bye for now. <laughs> we okay, have a great day. Kisses. <laughs> XO XO Okay, have a great day. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck did we just do? <laughs> plug, plug your fucking thing. Okay, Pastor Dave. <laughs> Pastor Dave Bless on Instagram. Follow me, please, and subscribe to the podcast on YouTube. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do more of this. <laughs> Uh, Eggs, everyone. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, uh, got a show next week at TVI Super 8. Super 8. Super 8. Super at 8. TVI like the, like in the Brooklyn, New York. That's right. And, it's his uh, hometown. And follow me on Yiddy. Twitter, A Elman, at, on Twitter. Go for it. Yeah. Yep. Go for it. Yeah. Okay. All right. God bless. Oh, wait, wait. We should sign off in unison. Bye for now. Bye, Bye for, for now. now. Are you man and woman? You are now streaming an American podcast called S and We're gonna be making episodes, so go ahead and click the download. <laughs> <laughs>